Hey, what's going on guys? Nick and I here back with the Clash Army for another video and today I'm doing a base build video for you guys today. This is the base right here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, fast forward, remove all the buildings and then go through placing them and kind of talk about what I was thinking going through the placement. The walls, I'll let you see the skeleton of the walls alone so you can get an idea of what they look like. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to cue some music on and I'll be back right after we remove all these buildings. Alrighty, so there is the bare shell of this base, and these are called crab bases because I don't know why they oh they look like a crab with like the claws at the bottom, sort of. Um, but they have an open bottom and they just have like a shell over the top. I think I guess that's why they're called crab bases. If you were like looking straight at it, it would look like one. Um, but anyway, the point of these bases is to make it very hard to go through one side with walls and very appealing to go through one side with an opening however troops don't do as well in open spaces against defenses spread out with bombs and traps laid out in between them as people think and these bases take advantage of that so let's go ahead and the first thing here is you want to make sure that you're uh what am i doing it wouldn't let me drag it out it was like glitching out for a second all right so the first thing you want to do is make sure the town hall is nice and centralized so right there i also think this base looks kind of like a helmet let's call this base the helmet so, here we go. I'm going to put the king over here on the right. Um, in range of the town hall, but not too far away. The queen will go over there on the left. And then the next thing to do is protect it with some inferno towers, which can be on both ends right there. Those can't be hit by one freeze spell. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. We can do uh, some gold right there. Gold right there. And then I always try to have my wizards guarding my gold storages, as you'll see right there and there. Uh, coming up next, let's see if we can squeeze. Well, here's one thing I always like to plan early is the air defense. I try to make them in a grid if I can. If not, this is just a slightly offset grid here, and it will uh, make it so from the top you're getting a little bit harder time going um, when you come from the top using air troops. Here we go. I'll put the dark elixir there right in the center. I'm big on symmetry. If you guys couldn't tell by watching my other videos, uh, I like everything balanced and when you it comes to mortars and expos that can get tricky because they're in threes and obviously two threes make six but then I like if it looks even so what I'm gonna do here is make it so that the wall breakers and troops coming through the uh, the top joints here are gonna be affected by the spring traps maybe over here in these gaps would actually be a good spot for some as well I'll put one there and I'll put one over here alright so there's a couple spring traps for when they're running for the expo right there um, let's fill the, the outer compartments are always going to want to be archers and cannons. Those are always towards the outside of bases lately as of the deep, most recent strategies. That just seems to work out the best. Um, what else can we put up there? Let's go with archers around the border here. And then you always want to alternate archer cannon, archer cannon because obviously one hits the ground and one hits the air. Um, and they're going to target different units, so you don't want to make it easy to go with one type of unit from one side of your base. Another thing I do is, a lot of times I make it so my wizards can hit my elixir and my gold, but I put them in different compartments, as you see I'm doing here. The gold's on the inside of the base, and the elixir's on the outside of the base, it's still in the walls. But the wizard can hit both, and there's a wall in between them. It just makes it so the troops take enough time to where the wizards are going to be able to get the kill. Coming up down on the bottom here, uh, Expos are now in a perfect triangle that can hit the entire base, air and ground. The mortars are going to be a little bit off, but that's okay. One thing that's really hard to do with, that I was proud to do on this base is get the Builder's Hut symmetrical. There's five of them, and unless you do a, like a point like this, it's very hard. So I went ahead and made a shape like that. Another big thing is filling the gaps, but leaving mysteries where the giant bombs are going to be. I go pretty pretty practical and put them right in front of the town hall or the uh, inferno towers and then a couple on the top there on this map so that if they come from the top the wall breakers or you know whatever golems giants and wizards get hit by those giant bombs if they come from the bottom here same thing the heroes will probably be going for the inferno towers and hopefully that giant bomb does some damage let's keep moving through the rest of the base here uh gold mine will be up there elixir collector right there and now let's move into the dark drills. This is the only part of the base I couldn't get symmetrical, and it kind of bugged me, not gonna lie. 
archer towers here, but they could go a little bit further up. I'm, I'm contemplating moving them further up because the bottom of the base is a little bit too easy, in my opinion. To, yeah, let's actually move them up more. So I'm going to put what would go in place then. I guess it would just be these dark barracks would go here and here. And then I would go with my lab. And then in front of the lab I'd have that right there. Then that. Then that. But now looking at it, let's go ahead and flip. See, but when you rebuild a base like this, it's also good for me. I am showing a base I made, but at the same time I'm learning what I didn't like about the, the base I made. So here's the part that doesn't get symmetrical. You get a uh, spell factory instead of a dark drill. There's only three dark drills and there's only one spell factory. So that's going to be hard to do with any base really. But down here at the bottom, again, switching off between cannons and archer towers. Um, archer towers could possibly flip with those cannons as well. But I do like the archers at the points because as you see, you'll see here in a second, uh, mortar. And now let's bring in the storages. We've got that one like that. Oh, okay, they're down one. They're like that. Cool. Let's bring the gold here. Elixir. This is just to space them out so that it's harder to enter the bottom of the base. Because it's the open part, you want them to A, take more time, and B get a couple shots off from the archers and can and mortar right there while they're going for that part of the base. Here, uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to line up my camps to make it so that right there and right there, you can't place any guys unless they're on the border on the bottom. And I've got two archers left. Put those in the corners, which fully... Okay, that's why. Yeah, you definitely want to leave your archers there and there because look at that. Archers can cover all sides now, which is good makes it harder to pick off buildings at the end when you're only 50% left. And now I've got a couple collectors and mines. Let's put one there and there. And now let's move to the top here because I do have some space. Do that. I guess I'll go ahead and throw a giant bomb at the top. Otherwise, uh, actually thinking about it, let's go down to the bottom. It's more attacked from the bottom to be honest. So I'm going to go ahead and defend, like, maybe this tier right here after they fought a little bit and they're bunching up right in front of that archer tower and they just get giant bombed right there. So it's going to ruin someone's day, hopefully. Uh, put that there and put that there. And then a couple barracks over here, make it symmetrical. And I've got uh, four Tesla towers. I'm going to put two. They always kind of want to be centralized. You know, focus on defending your your town hall. These next two though, I could put here and complete the grid and really make it hyper town hall defense, but I decided to move them down here to make it harder when you're coming in. Maybe they drop their P.E.K.K.A.s early and those can get some shots off, or maybe they just drop some troops that can't handle level 8 Teslas and I take them out right before they can even begin their fight. Um, let's see what else we've got going on. Four. Seeking air mines, I'm gonna put those here, here, here. I'm looking at the picture that I originally did of the base and then kind of modifying it as I go. Um, where are the other ones? I don't see them. They're always It's always so hard to find the air mines, in my opinion, when you're looking at a picture of them. Where would I have put them? There's the air bombs. Alright, so let's do air bombs here by the whizzies and then right above the infernos and then oh there's the oh, they are right there right there and then I've got one more air bomb and to make it symmetrical I'll put it down there and now when it comes to small bombs I like to group them where I know guys will be running and when there's multiple, you have a better chance of actually taking guys out. So I put them all in a line right there. And now for a couple last spring traps, just because they'll also be running on the sides here, I decided to put them in front of those right there. So there we have it all finished up. And let's collect all these resources. If you guys are playing right now, hop on and boost your barracks. It's only one gem because the update is uh, its a one gem one day up upgrade because the updates right around the corner hope you guys enjoyed this crab base video i like to call it the helmet and just so you know 
Okay, I lost that attack. Bad timing. But win, 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 loss. Win, 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 loss. Win, 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 win. I started this base in gold two or gold three. And now I'm in Masters 3, moving up to Masters 2, so it definitely works. I'll probably change it up around Masters 1, um, but that's how far it'll go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm Nick at Night, and I'll see you in the next episode.